On the weekend of July 4th to July 7th, I went to Denver Fan Expo where I go hard every year at this convention. There are always so many great opportunities for signings at this Fan Expo and the atmosphere, the elevation, and beautiful people. Denver is my favorite Fan Expo to go to. I've gone to this specific Fan Expo a few times now and I can only say good things. However, there was an issue on the internet not working to use credit cards and the ATMs were out of cash, so I accidentally wasted a ton of time waiting in line and expecting to use my card. Lesson, always bring cash. Other than that, the people were friendly, weather was hot, and the lines were okay. But I actually ended up using the VIP pass to be able to skip a bunch of those lines this time. We ended up with all of these pops, we brought a poster, we got pass prints to add to the collection, and we started brand new projects as well that I can't wait to share with you. We were even able to add to this beauty quite in unique, oh my god, I just hit it. In unique ways though. I'll show you at the end the pops I didn't get signed to. I don't think I would have been able to get all of these autographed if it weren't for the VIP pass. Anthony Starr had a line that people waited all morning for and he sold out. Brie Larson only signed for 30 minutes before photo ops and only a few hours in the afternoon and I know she sold out too so I don't even know if everyone got their autograph. Here's a list of all the guests though. There's a ton from celebrities, animation guests, anime guests, gaming stars, comic creators, cosplayers. There's a lot of lines for all these wonderful people so let me know who you would want to see out of this lineup and we are going to start today with Anthony Starr and I do have a little clip of what his few prints that he had there that I was able to pick up let me give you a hint because we are going to be taking a look at some different prints later yeah we got a few prints from the boys so stay tuned for the end where i'm going to share all of the prints all together but taking a look at the pops first i had to do two pops so i did three autographs total but for these two oh my gosh i had to do the first two pops in the line the classic homelander and the target exclusive homelander with the red eyes decided to go red on both because honestly i wasn't too picky i was just happy to talk to him he was really funny he even probably up to me about Colorado weed which is hilarious he was such a chill guy I know we get along great but he had a really long line like I said people were waiting all day so it was a very very tough to get his autograph the VIP pass helped a ton and even then there was a solid line in the VIP section and I waited like an hour hour and a half prior to him even showing up but either way it was worth it look at this the clean autograph I mean you can tell it's the same exact thing he got it down to a science well bam red on red Especially this Target one. I'm in love with this pop. I am so excited. Yeah, I can't believe this is a $100 pop now. That is crazy. This one's like $30 too. Homeland is very, very popular. And I guarantee you that his pops are only going to go higher in price. Especially, you know what, if he ends up dying at the end of Season 5. So, which we already know is the last season for the Butcher and Homelander storyline. We did get everything JSA authenticated. I got the cards off to the side. No one really cares to see that. We got Aaron Moriarty. We got Karen Fukuhara. And now we got Anthony Starr and like I said, we got a few more prints I wish the pops came out or they had pops for some of these characters. Ashley needs a pop so bad That would have been cool. Yeah, I got her autograph. We'll take a look. I can't wait to share I literally am just obsessed with the boys right now But yeah, we did end up talking about his time in Colorado and what to do what cities he likes to see and yeah Super super chill guy. I keep seeing him on a bunch of interviews as well lately. He's making his rounds He's literally the same in real life just smiles to everyone man what a great guy and i would love to see him again if i got the chance next up we actually have jennifer hale who i went super hard for and she was actually the very first person that i wanted to wait in line for specifically because i really wanted to get these x-men 97 pop sign just get them out of the way because these are the last two X-Men 97 pops out of this original line plus the exclusives that aren't the 8-bit to get signed so I have all of them signed so I'm going to share that collection with you guys very very soon because I can't wait to have them all lined up autographed it's going to look beautiful she of course did Jean Grey and Goblin Queen now I must admit I did not realize how popular she was oh my gosh her line ended up being huge a lot of people were waiting for her same with the person right next to her here Neil Newborn Newborn oh my gosh wow some of these people sometimes I have no idea how popular they truly are it's incredible her prices were also a little bit unique you could get long quotes short quotes for like plus 10 to 20 dollars depending on what you wanted to do and then you could also like add money for 
like different colors or I don't even remember. It was just very weird specific details on pricing. Just bring a lot of extra 20s if you want to go see her because yeah, she ended up being a little bit more expensive and she also didn't have not that I not it's my fault for not being prepared. I usually just go in and kind of say any like quote that you like having four right there is probably a little mean and that's totally my fault and so uh, she didn't have any memorized so i had to look them up real quick not having service in there sometimes it's really embarrassing the first pop-up i had to do the entertainment earth kiyoshi i want to get as many of the avatar the last airbender autographs as possible so right there on the top she autographed it in blue pretty clean autograph i'd say i mean actually if you look up close that does look pretty nice I am definitely a fan trying to put some light on it, get a little bit of different angles on that. And then on the side, the quote that she decided to write was, only justice will bring peace. Pretty clean uh, quote, pretty clean autograph. I'm super stoked to add this one in the collection. And that's why this one had to be a must, along with the X-Men 97 ones. Really good pickup in my opinion. But then also, she did do Bastilla Sean. I gotta add Star Wars Pops when I get the opportunity. And this is a pretty unique one, and I like her a lot. I loved the old game so much. I always would choose the dark side. But anyways, um, the quote on the side says, the force is always with you. A little bit more of a standard quote. I thought there were some pretty cool ones that if I had service, I could have looked up. Like well, some at the end of the game with like Revan and stuff like that. Anyways, sick pop down in the collection, Star Wars collection specifically. And it's a GameStop exclusive, so it feels like a little bit of a rarer one, even though I have no idea what the PPG of this pop is right now. But it is super sick. I thought the gold lines up with her lightsaber or yellow lightsaber in there very well like i said she was super nice too so um, it wasn't that bad trying to get a lot of autographs with her and i also did one the first day and then i came back and did three because uh, yeah i only had uh, so much cash on me the first time because this cost like almost 200 300 something like that just for these four autographs crazy prices now but on the jean gray these were all quote unquote, I guess mandatory to add it to the collection. I don't know if I will get the opportunity to see her again very soon. And now I don't have to wait just in case if I do. So got them all out of the way. I'm happy. This Jean Grey autograph looks really, really sick. I love that she puts a character in. Oh yeah, if you want to see the character name on this one, you can see it, Bastilla Sean right above the GameStop sticker. And you can also see Avatar Kiyoshi in blue. I think that is so, so cool. We've got Jean Grey in the yellow right here. I, I, you know what? I am actually a really big fan. I'm so glad I got multiples because honestly, I didn't even realize that till right now. But the auto, or quote on this side, oh my gosh, this one is actually long. So shout out to her for spending the time and having very clean handwriting. Time spent alive, sharing, learning together is all that makes life worth living. And you guys Guys could not see that because the glare but you know what i promise that's what it says it's a sick autograph that's my gene gray signed we got the goblin queen in this sick green i think it looks beautiful on it we got a little bit of a simpler pop come closer it was a short quote i'm pretty sure i paid for a long one didn't realize till later but totally worth it still no regrets this is a sick one it completes the x-men 97 collection like i said i'll share that with you guys very soon because having a, it's my very first complete signed collection and oh, that's always been a dream for a hot minute <laughs> shout out to all the x-men 97 people for making their rounds because we got some all awesome beautiful autographs as well another person that i was super stoked for was ella purnell recently watching the fallout tv show oh my gosh i absolutely was stoked i thought it was way better than i was expecting it to be and not only that but we do have this jinx league of legends pop because i love league of legends grew up playing it don't really anymore because if you know the game you know it's just a rabbit hole and a toxicity but it is addicting it like crazy but i did meet sarah ann williams at the chalice event a little bit ago got her signature on the front was not ever expecting to meet ella purnell who does the voice of jinx in the arcane show just straight up jaw dropping moments in it the artistic elements in it the story everything in it is great so we ended up getting her on the side right here and she even wrote a little quote too which was pretty cool and it does say get jinxed up 
Ella Purnell, the little heart and X, kind of like her little signature thing that kind of Rosario Dawson does as well. But this pop is just legendary. Now, we do have it PSA authenticated from the Sarah Ann Williams event. And then we ended up getting this JSA sticker on the side for Ella. I am so happy that I ended up getting this sign in the past. It's also very hard to find this pop in really good condition. And this one is just gorgeous. Also, Ella Purnell was so, so nice. And I was also able to get a print that I'll show you at the end for Fallout, which hopefully I can get more signatures for in the future. But either way, it was huge wins all around. Next up is none other than Rosario Dawson. Of course, I have met her before. But you know what? With the VIP pass, I was like... I have only the Mandalorian Ahsoka Pop sign. I gotta get one Ahsoka Pop from the actual Ahsoka Show sign. So you know what? I decided to use the VIP card to get there. Here we are. I just asked her to write any quote. She, oh my gosh, I'm falling in love with her every single I was falling in love, just tripping everywhere, falling in love at this event. Swear to God, I choose to live Ahsoka Tano, Rosario Dawson with the X's and hearts. The Hot Topic one is pretty cool, but yeah, I don't know what to say. I am a sucker for that cloak for sure. She does have lightsabers in it. The blue matches perfectly. Ah, oh, man, I should have got a lot more sign, but decided to get at least one item while I was there. Totally worth it no regrets of course definitely recommend meeting her she actually sells out a lot so try and get your tickets in advance if you get the opportunity and if you don't know ahsoka is my favorite character of all time so i love adding any ahsoka piece i love seeing ashley Eckstein and rosario dawson whenever i get the chance and this was a great opportunity for that brie larson was the big last minute announcement and i absolutely had to jump on it but she was very expensive so i could only really get a few items autographed and number one was an avengers endgame poster which i will eventually show you guys when i show off my giant 28 by 40 posters because i love trying to get those ones signed and i think they look fantastic giant movie posters all the way my favorite thing to get signed and she was the first one to be added onto the end game i missed an opportunity last year for nebula karen gillen at last year's salt lake city convention oh my gosh that was a big missed opportunity i brought the poster and everything but she packed up and was gone for the day and I was only showing up for that one day either way though I am super stoked to be able to meet Brie Larson oh my gosh again fell in love literally I mean she is literally stunning in person totally worth it her line was an absolute mess though lots of people going there right away and she was not signing for long so I'm so psyched that I was literally able to get the VIP pass and kind of get in front of a lot of people I felt really bad but I was able to secure the two autographs the second one being this pop I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a four inch pop if I wanted to do a pop moment or something I decided to do the pop moment for the other autograph potential for the other two big characters it would be so cool to get Iman on this and Teyana on this side she even knew to leave enough room she was so cool about it too she, I actually ended up getting the very first one signed she said that she's never signed one before and I was I embarrassingly asked can you write number one even though I kind of knew the answer but it was no she just wasn't able to write anything other than what we paid for which was the character name oh my gosh that kind of sucks it would have been so cool to have the first Brie Larson autograph on this and the only way I can confirm it was um with the people that I was with and myself so that kind of is unfortunate but either way I am just happy to get an autograph from her at all and this pop is fantastic it'll be so cool to get Get triple sign in the future it is just a heart brie and then captain marvel didn't want to do a quote because first of all it's going to cost like another hundred dollars and then not only that but i figured if we're getting multiple autographs on this pop we definitely don't want to overload it with quotes even though it would have been more time to talk to her i guess that would have been pretty cool but hey i already kind of embarrassed myself i was already ready to get out of there i had to go trip and fall in love with someone else at this event oh my gosh though this is so sick i am psyched to add this one in the collection Probably one of the biggest wins of the entire convention, obviously. <laughs> Let me know what item you would have got signed by Brie Larson, though, if you guys got the opportunity. But yeah, it was like $300 per autograph, so like $600 total for this in the poster. It was a lot, and the poster is really big, too. Very hard to navigate, so shout out to the help that I had to get that done. 2019 and 2020 were some of the first years that I really started exploring different Funko conventions, tried picking up the different shared retailers, and for me, Danny Phantom, I loved him so much 
much, but he was an out of pocket <laughs> add to the collection at the time. Now I would totally pick him up, but yeah, he was so cool. The pop was so unique. I loved the little green eyes, the ghost effect. Everything was so sick. The only Danny Phantom pop, I immediately tried to get it into my collection. So I've had this one on ice for quite some time. I would love to add David Kaufman, who voices da Danny Phantom, onto this pop but today i had to get the one and only creator of the show butch hartman and he does do quite a few conventions oh my gosh is this man talented you can pay for sketches of he does full artwork too i have some clips of it he is fantastic literally an art king he will do it right in front of you it does cost a little bit but it's definitely worth it he'll draw whatever you want the person in front of me was getting like sasuke to be drawn which was totally random but his convention manager was there and he convinced me to get a little small art print on the side then he actually gave me another one for free such an awesome guy but i'll show you guys that one in a second because there's a story behind that but he did draw this fan danny phantom right in front of me Within like 20 seconds, he got it nailed down in such good artwork. He signed it in front in the green. We also got it authenticated. I mean, this pop is just everything I wanted and more that I didn't know I needed. One of the coolest pops, definitely for sure. If you didn't know this one existed and you're a fan of the show, go pick it up because, I mean, come on. Such a gorgeous looking pop. There is a New York Comic Con sticker. Try and get this shared one because there's a lot of replacement stickers of this sticker out there now. But yeah, this is one of my favorite pops that I've added into the collection in a very, very long time. So I, again, really hope to meet David soon and make it one of the ultimate grails into the collection for sure. One of my other favorite shows growing up is none other than The Fairly Odd Parents. So I picked this pop up immediately once I decided that the price was finally fair enough and I ended up getting Suzanne Blakesley, who voices Wanda autograph on this side right there. So I'm still looking for Cosmo and Timmy. I really do think I'll be able to get Tara Strong very soon, so stay tuned for that. But like I said, Butch Hartman's convention manager is clutch. First of all, the pink and the green autograph, oh my gosh, I am in love with that decision. It looks so good right on top. Enough room for future autographs. Oh my gosh, he did terrific. But like I said, his convention manager is also Gray Delisle's convention manager and she voices Vicky and with Butch's artwork he actually suggested to draw Vicky on the side and for no charge I could go in Gray Delisle's line and get her autograph and get the character name of Vicky too. This is insane. I can actually get five autographs now. We got Gray, we got Butch, we got Suzanne, and then two more right there. Are you kidding me? This pop is gonna look crazy when I finally finish it. But like I said, stay tuned, stick around so you can see us get the other signatures on this. Cause this is this is a grail status piece too. I'm in love. First of all, I just love the pop. It is a gorgeous three pack. And the fairly odd parent show that's airing right now. Just had the return of Poof, aka Perry now. So Fairly Odd Parents is back, baby. And I am stoked to add this one. It is a big part of my childhood. Like I said, this and Jimmy Neutron. Shout out Jimmy Neutron. Both of those, when they did the collab, that was the dream. But oh my gosh, the drawing with the autograph right there. So smart. So if you guys have this three pack, or if you guys don't know about it and want to do something really fun with autograph, definitely check out this concept. Get Butch, get him to draw Vicky on the side try and get Gray Delisle then make a wicked wicked signed autograph Funko piece and here is a look of the prints that we decided to start getting signed at this event check it out some legendary pieces for sure so let's take a closer look at them to start off we will continue on with the Butch Hartman and Gray Delisle autographs because now in the future we only need Darren Norris for Cosmo and Tara Strong for Timmy Turner, which are, I think, of Timmy Turner, like I said, is going to happen probably very soon. So this print right here in the three pack, we are going to get signed by all five of them, literally both of them. I think that is so cool. I am so excited to already have Suzanne Blakesley on this piece as well. And on this one, 
I did end up having them write my name on it, which is really funny because they all also voluntarily wrote something pretty fun. Suzanne Blakesley wrote, To Blake Cosmo, you idiot, with her autograph in pink. I have shared that one before. So the new autographs today is Gray Delisle, who wrote, Blake is a twerp. <laughs> I love that one so much. Then her autograph in the orange and character name of Vicky right there. And then Butch Hartman took the top left corner. He said, Blake, you are fairly odd. But Hartman that is so sick and literally I cannot wait to add the other two autographs on these these two are definitely going to be coming with me this year and probably next year until we finish them off because yeah stay tuned for it because these are going to be buttes by the time they're all signed and here are the table prints that I decided to get signed at this event because yeah Ashley and firecracker don't have any pops yet which is so sad because the firecracker pop was literally leaked one day before this now we got to wait a few months for it to officially release but i do hope to see her again in the future to get that signed we also got the colby minifee how do we not have ashley pop oh my gosh but maybe a few more autograph potentials in this picture as well the print that i decided to go with was the one that was the full body shot i don't know why i just thought it would look so so cool and i have again no regrets decided to go red in this one as well i don't know why i think white would look really good but just come on we gotta go red with Homelander. The Colby Minfie autograph that we got, she was so kind. Uh, her and Valerie Curry were actually right next to each other, and they had a deal going that if you, you could get a combo picture with both of them, which was really cool as well, for like a hundred bucks with like their autograph. So I thought that was a steal as well. But the picture I decided to go for Ashley was the one with Chase Crawford, The Deep, as well as Suzanne Hayward, Sister Sage, just in case if we can get some more autograph potential. I mean, Sister. Mr. Sage does not have a pop, but yeah, she'll probably be getting one, and the Deep does have one. I would love to get that one signed in the future as well. Either way, this this picture is literally so cool, and she has a really, really clean autograph as well. She even threw the character name Ashley on it so much. The quote that she wrote, she asked if we wanted anything to be written on it, and uh, I think she just has the most fun doing this one, but she wrote, who wants their balls crushed? Because, like, come on, that quote is kind of iconic, and it's really funny to put on a picture. I decided to go with that, because she suggested it and I was like oh heck yeah she is so cool and uh, she is really gorgeous in person as well I love her. also check her out in Fear of the Walking Dead she is a little bit uh, see her in that zombie apocalypse world but then we do have the Valerie Curry firecracker she has such a clean autograph I love that that is so clean then the portrait oh my gosh firecracker but man she is crazy either way though this is a really cool print to add and honestly next to the Homelander one those two are gonna look really Really, really awesome on the wall and I can't wait to hang all three of these but definitely let me know your thoughts on these and the ending of season four of the boys because oh my gosh I am so ready for season five and I would love to meet as many of the actors inside of as pop as possible I mean let's be honest they're all really high caliber actors at this point a lot of supernatural actors too so that's really cool they're making great pop lines a lot of autograph potential all around the board I'm happy they're going to conventions huge dubs another print that I was able to get signed at this event was one for Ella Purnell like I said I am in love with the fallout show and I cannot wait for season two I thought it was absolutely fantastic not only that I wanted to get an item that could perhaps have more autograph potential in the future. I mean, we got Aaron Moten as Maximus right there, which would be really cool, as well as Walton Go Goggins. I think these would be an elite picture with all three signatures on them. We even got the dog in the corner right there and the Fallout logo right there. Oh my gosh, this entire picture I thought was a win. And she did have a few other Fallout pictures, but it was just of her. But honestly, those options were really good too. Again, I only went with this one for the future autograph potential, but either way, I mean, she looks so sick in this. And yeah, super big fan of the show. I'm super excited about this. She ended up going white, Ella P in that. Very clean autograph, very simple. I'm hyped with it. And I also did this alongside with the Jinx. So I was able to talk to her for a few minutes. Actually, I walked up to her and there was like no line. So I did talk to her for a few, few minutes. And yeah, I couldn't say anything more kindly about her. Definitely check her out if you get the chance. Yeah, her line wasn't that bad if you hit her at the right time. But definitely some people were interested when she was like coming back from lunch and stuff. And that's when she really started getting like bigger lines throughout the day. But yeah, super dope picture. Super psyched to add this one in the collection. I 
have actually already finished a bigger version of the Clone Wars poster and gotten every single signature on it, but I wanted to do something a little bit fun, start something a little bit different, and I wanted to do both Ahsokas, one for the Clone Wars and one for the live action Rosario Dawson version, both get both posters, 8x10 versions, have them next to each other, and just try and get a whole bunch of autographs just for fun, because I hope to see everyone from these shows multiple times in the future, passively get more autographs, just say, hey, what's up, because yeah, Ahsoka is my favorite character of all time, and I would just sounded like something really fun to do. So this time at Denver Fan Expo, I decided to get Ashley Eckstein, and she did it in a beautiful silver color that Matt Lanter soon uh, did as well. So hopefully in the future, which I honestly could have done Dee Bradley Baker as well as James Arnold Taylor. But yeah, the only people I'm missing is Tracer and the other person from Ahsoka's arc on the big poster. So I figured, yeah, let's do something that's easy to bring around. We can possibly get more autographs. I actually totally could have got Diana Lee in Osanto for uh, Morgan Elsbeth at this convention as well. But again, they do so many conventions. I would figure why not just do it in the future? Start off something a little bit fun right here. Who knows? Maybe we can get Hayden Christensen's on this. R.I.P. Ray Stevenson. That is very sad. But yeah, we can get a few other actors on that as well. And that would be a really fun project to start right here. I decided to leave them in these little plastic containers because yeah, I'll be pulling them out a lot. I think I'll be able to see a few of these people throughout this year I don't even know at what events but I'm sure I'll be able to if not next year but it's easier than framing them right now I like having them a little bit loose just so I can take them about this was definitely a new project that I wasn't expecting but it was something that I decided to do on a whim and it just sounds so fun so stay tuned to see these posters get more completed in the future and I can't wait Rosario Dawson's white autograph right there takes up so much of it I love it so so much so clean can't wait to start filling out this 8x10 poster but I really really need a 28 by 40 movie size poster just to fill up in a frame really start autographs going on that one because come on the Ahsoka poster is so sick and it would go along so well with other posters in my collection I've been wanting to do an invincible poster for a very very long time because there is a lot of great autograph potential in this cast look at all of these beautiful people in there and the one that was at this event today was once again Grey Delisle who voices Monster Girl as well as Shrinking Ray which you can see on Rex's soul shoulder right there. It is a very weird size. It's not like a it's like 12 and a half by 8. Oh no it was just straight up 12 by 18. Yeah 12 by 18. It wasn't 13 by 19 which is what I'm used to so that's why I thought it was so weird but I love this poster so much. I think it's like an official poster. It came with a a comic that Skybound released on some on their website as a promotion at some point last year and I was able to pick it up from a reseller. I am super super stoked to be able to start this though. Oh my gosh just think of the potential. I love this show. It's one of my favorites with this and the boys. I was so excited for this convention and I think this looks fantastic. We just got some brand new news on Invincible Season 3 and figured out it was renewed for a Season 4 at San Diego Comic Con this past weekend but yeah absolutely huge win right here and I am so stoked to continue this. And real quick, I wanted to show off a few pops that I ended up not getting signed, but might plan to do in the future. I'll throw up everyone's voice actor that I could have gotten at this event. But I mean, like we got Christopher Sabat. It really just turned into like a time and a money thing. I spent so much money. I kind of wanted to prioritize other people. I do already have their autographs in the collection. And honestly, just seeing them again and getting a little bit more is of course not necessary. So I decided to hold off this this time I did have another Grey Delilah Azula pop at the ready for Luffy, Sabo, and Zoro were all here of course and their lines are always I mean as you know they do a lot of conventions but they always pulled the longest lines and I was thinking of just using the VIP pass to create a beautiful four pack signature piece but literally this on its own probably would have cost me like 300 something dollars just to start and I wasn't feeling it at the time. I'm pretty excited with what we got. Denver Fan Expo is one of my favorite conventions to go to every single year and if you guys get the opportunity to go to any local Fan Expo definitely do because they attract a lot of fantastic talent. Even though I wasn't able to spend all four days at the event I had a great time but definitely check out my past autograph halls and we are going to do a lot more coming up real soon. We got store signings 
conventions. We're going to do some pretty exciting things. So definitely subscribe. Check out the past videos because, yeah, we have done this numerous, numerous times. So we're going to keep doing it. So have a fantastic rest of your day, my friends. Peace out. Bye.